Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding that matters that you're watching right now. Anyways, this week's episode, the top five beginner women's boards of 2021-2022. That's right, ladies. This list is for you, especially if you're just starting out. Number five, the GNU Gloss. Sure, it's a freestyle board, but it's a soft flexing freestyle board, and it's got Good news, C2E camber profile, so you got a little bit of reverse between the feet and a longer camber section underfoot. This is gonna be a good transition as a rider to just kind of understand torsional flex as well as steering underfoot and out of the contact points. Plus, you get magnet traction, so it will help you grip better on firmer or icier snow. It's not gonna be overwhelming, which is why I'm putting it in the beginner category, but it's a board that you can kind of just take everywhere all over the mountain as you figure out what you're actually doing. Number four, the Arbor Cadence Rocker. Sure, there is a camber version of this board, but why make things harder for you when you're starting out? That's why with their parabolic rocker, you're gonna have some ease of entry in and out of turns. It's just gonna be easier to steer the board. It's got a soft flex to it. You got grip tech underfoot, so it's gonna give you that added contact right where your bindings are, so you don't really have to worry about it slipping out, but it's not gonna be overwhelming. It's a board that you can kind of just use for anything on the mountain while you're trying to figure out the basics. It's gonna be decent in POW, it's gonna be okay on a groomer, it's gonna be okay in the park. It's kind of a jack of all trades, beginner or low level intermediate board for someone that's progressing. Now, if you wanna get rid of your learning curve, you can go to the camber option, which is gonna be a little more assertive to ride, but you're not gonna pick up as many bad habits as you will with the rocker. Number three, the Burton Hideaway. It's got their flat top camber profile, which is a flat to rocker. So you're gonna get that stability of the flat section underfoot, but you're gonna be a little more loose out in the tip and the tail. This is gonna help with powder float as well as ease of entry into the turn, and it makes it a little bit less hooky. And with it being a twin directional board, it makes it versatile for going all over the mountain with. And it's one of those decks that you're not gonna outgrow right away. Number two, the Capita Space Metal Fantasy. Sure, it's another freestyle board, but in case you haven't caught on yet, freestyle boards tend to have softer flex, which makes them easier for someone that's progressing on from beginner to intermediate. And this board, is just that. It's got a flat with rocker in the tip and the tail profile, so you're gonna get that stability underfoot, but you're gonna have ease of entry in and out of the turns from the rocker, as well as a little bit extra ease of powder float just because of the shaping of it and whatnot. It's a board that you can rip a carve with, you can butter around, you can fall on your ass, do what you need to do, and as you progress, you're not gonna outgrow it right away, which has been kind of the theme of this top five list, in case you ladies haven't caught on to that yet. Honorable mentions, all great options, but just barely didn't make it on this list. The Ride Heartbreaker, the Nitro Electra, the Rome Royal. As I said, all great options, but just barely didn't make it on this list. And the number one women's beginner board of 2021-2022 is the K2 First Light. This is the board for a beginner snowboarder that's going to progress into intermediate relatively fast. It's got a flat to rocker profile on it, which is going to make it a little bit easier just for entering turns, but still give you that stability in there. It does have the hybrid taper shaping on it, so when you do get it on edge, you're going to have a little bit more power down into it. It's a board that you can kind of just do anything with. You don't really have to worry about it, and you're not going to outgrow it easily. This has been my top five women's beginner boards of 2021-2022. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I forget one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about these snowboards. That's right, for you 4.3% female viewership, we did this list for you. So I fully expect to be told I don't know what I'm talking about because, well, I got outdoor plumbing and you got indoor plumbing and, well, I, I don't really know what you're riding. Anyways, if you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.